Welcome to our Thursday morning hit workout. I'm Dave. Today we're going to be going through an every minute on the minute workout. I have some weights with me today. I'm also going to grab a band just to make sure we have our options. Uh, so the every minute on the minute work is every minute we have a certain number of reps that we need to do as soon as we do all those reps we can run. Okay, so we'll start with our warm up. Let's start with our arm swings. So I start palm out, and then as I cross my body, I turn palm down, and then I alternate which arm's on top. Just to get some movement into the chest, shoulders, and arms. Arms overhead, just the left, leave to the right. Okay, see the left. Let's do that one more time. And this time, pull on right fingers, arms overhead. Interlock the fingers. Pull the elbows back. And then we're going to take a step forward, twist to that side, step forward, twist to that side. All while pulling those elbows back, having a nice open chest. Inhale you know, deeper into that step forward into a lunge almost, or half a lunge. Stand up. Your floor sweep, the leg is straight, lead leg is pointed up, alternate, and then just a nice big sweep. Hinge forward, swimming forward. Back. Let's go into some little quarter squats here, so hips back, chest is up. Move this chair out of the way because I don't think we need it for the first set. It's only used for modifications on the second set. All right, so we have six exercises. Um, I'm pretty sure we've done them all before except for the skull crusher. So I'll show you what those look like. And if you haven't seen these before, you can just take sort of the first round as a learning experience. Maybe only do a couple of reps, just don't worry too much about. So the skull crusher is with lighter weights. I'm bringing the weight down. So my wrist, shoulders, and elbows are stacked. I only pivot from the elbow as I bring the weights down and back up. I have my weights in those runway style again because you can see I need to switch for uh, for different exercises there. I will get the timer started. We're all for eight minutes. Start that now. Oh boy. Okay, we'll start that now. Hopefully that works. There we go. Timer is there, so I'm starting with my chest press. Chest press, same thing. Shoulders, elbows, wrists stacked. 
lower the weight down and up. Two, three, four, five. This workout is modifiable too very easily by just changing the number of reps that you have to do. And that will in turn not only change the weight you're lifting, but the rest you get. Why I'm tearing the weight apart, bringing it back together. And then for my next two exercises, oh gosh, I'm doing terrible on time here. So I'm gonna miss the anterior range this time around, but we'll get them, we'll get them next time around. Too much setting up. Okay. These flies usually take a, a long time for me, so I just need to make sure I'm speeding them up. Skull crushers. And then the interior raises. This might be a little ambitious here. So I'm going to just change everything right now to five. I have that technology to pause that timer. All right. Back into, lost my runway. Right back into that chest press. So I spread my arms along a straight line and I don't let my elbows touch the ground. Interior raise, we can do from kneeling to to straight up to shoulder height. If you're a little bit worried on time, I could probably sit up there. This is challenging. That's why we want to use lighter weights. I am really certain to feel that burn in the chest. The reason that beach ball still was that rule with the tricep arms are fixed. I'll show you the band next round through. With the band, everything is pretty much the same. Chest flies are uh, very difficult to do in the sense that you really can't. But with the fly, what I would do is it's on, you know, under my back. I would start and just try to mimic the motion with arms as straight as possible. Normally I have a bend in my arm here. Go arms as straight as possible on that one. With the skull crusher, again, I would stand up and do more of a tricep kickback. Standing in the band, kicking back, and anterior raises, just the same. And a 
lot of rest on this round. That's okay. Try to speed it up a little bit, or maybe I'll just do four reps, but I'm going to still do five. If you want to get a little bit more rest, you could probably do four reps. The fly is that slow things down and really kill my chest, but that's a good thing. We're going to work hard every once in a while. Careful with getting up and down off the ground so quickly, especially if you haven't had any breakfast this morning. Ten seconds of rest this time. We're almost through, only two more rounds. I'm gonna take a quick second to tighten up my dumbbells. Safety first. Is that chest press? Two exercises at the end are more designed to tire you out for when you do your chest press and your flies. By taking or tiring out those accessory uh, muscles. Last round. Slide this way a little bit. So we will take a bit more rest time in between rounds because obviously we haven't been getting very much but it certainly makes time go fast so i'm glad to be done with it. my elbows are right over top of my Shoulders, as you can see. And then I only pivot from the elbow. And then lastly, I didn't mention this, but you can always take that staggered stance if you find you're leaning back a little bit. Okay. Oh, you know, that doesn't work. A little overly ambitious of me. I think these are actually larger movements. So that's what we're going to do there. Four, four, five, five. Um. So our remaining deadlifts are just those straight leg deadlifts, right? And the goblet squats, those straight leg deadlifts, hips are back, chest flexed, stand up. And the goblet squats, you can use, you know, like two weights held up like this. Um, you can use one weight, whatever works best for you. I know I'm going to go with a bit lighter weight because I know the later rounds are going to suck. All right, so we'll get started in three, two, and one. Goblet squats. I think I'm going to use these ones here. Feet a little bit wider. And uh, hip width, toes are pointed out. Chest is lifted. Whatever, five jumps up. The chair is here if you need to modify any of your lower body exercises. Remember, with the jump squats, you don't have to go into a full squat. Five glute bridges. 
Yep. Push up. I think I did six there. I'm gonna clear these guys out of my way. And then I'll show you how to do the band of these stretches. So same with the squat, same starting position. I just hold the band up. Go on as deep as I can with good form. Deadlift. I just grab nice and low on that band. Stand up. And his back chest stays lifted. I straight back. Good. Okay, and then as we move, I'll show you the modification with the chair hook. I think I'm still on camera here, so I'll just leave it as it is. So you can still use weight with the chair and the goblet squat. And it's just like you're holding something in front of you and sitting down. Like just focus on sitting down, less so the squat. And over time, as long as you keep your chest lifted. You'll be fine there. For the deadlift, you can just turn it into a hip hinge, right? Or I'm hinging forward. For the jump squat, right? We can take out the jump but still make it explosive or go on to my tiptoes. And the glute bridge is pretty simple as it is. Probably won't give a modification there unless you want to make it harder. And you can go single leg or maybe withholding some weight on your hips. I'm getting too much rest here, so I'll probably speed it up a little bit for myself. I don't speed these ones up too much with the Romanian deadlifts because I want to make sure I have good form and I'm not just throwing out my back. Okay, a little bit extra rest here, which is nice. My legs are killing me. That is the point of the workout. We only have 30 minutes. Or as always, you can change the reps as you need to. I saw landings on your jump squat. Good, let's pause there. Take my time getting up here. Two more rounds. We can do it. Give you a little bit of the theory craft behind this round. So goblin squats tend to be a little bit more front loaded. So it's a little bit more uh, quads. The Romanian deadlifts are a lot more hamstrings and back and luxury sure belt. And the jump squat has to use everything in the lower body. 
So it's sort of like the, the glue that holds the group together. And the glue bridges are a nice, easy way to isolate the glutes, as well as give us a little bit of a uh, recovery because the first three exercises are very difficult. So that's why we did what we did in this group and really the other group, the last two exercises were designed to tire you out the first two exercises. Time to grab some water this time through, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here, choose to take water breaks when you can as well, or whenever you'd like. All right, last set. And I always say, you know, resistance or weights. That's because you could be using cans, you could be using water bottles, anything that has a bit of weight to it that's not too bad to hold. Weight wouldn't shift on you too much as you exercise. It's a good option. I think that was why there. Okay, on the glute bridges. And five, okay. Thanks for working with some out the clock run. Bring your arms overhead. Come back in morning position. Job well done. That was challenging. A lot of up and down on top of exercises that were already designed to make things difficult for you. Cross our left leg over our right, bring our right leg towards your chest, left hand through the hole, right hand on the outside, and then just continue to pull that leg towards the chest. Certainly say that that workout was a little bit more intermediate to advanced, but again, you could be a beginner, and you could do two reps of everything on the minute, right? It doesn't need to be just like I did. You have to make your workout your own. And we'll switch sides. Slowly sit up, go into our butterfly stretch, so my heels are going to touch together. I'm going to bring them as close to the center of my body as I can. And then I'm going to actively uh, force my, I'm not pushing down with my elbows, I'm just pressing down and trying to get my knees closer to the ground. We'll extend out our left leg, cross our right leg over, and then just bring both hands to our right side. Make a twist. You can use your right elbow to like sort of push your right leg back up into a more uh, erect position, and then just continue to turn. Feel that stretch in through the the back there, and we'll switch sides. And if your right leg, since it's straight, if you point your toe towards your shin, you also get a little bit of a calf and a hamstring stretch there. Not so much if you're relatively uh, flexible. Like, I don't really feel too much of a stretch when I do that. But if you have extremely tight hamstrings or calves, you'll definitely feel it there. So again, the left leg is crossed over. I'm turning towards my left side, and my right uh, arm is pushing up my left leg. I realized I got that backwards last time. 
And we'll go into our child's pose. So sitting up, I'm going to push my hips back. Hands go forward. And then into our cat to cow. Start to spine up, flex the chin in. And on our breath, we can bring our spine and chin to neutral. Cow position, and just continue to move. For that, on your own breath cycle. Finish off with our door frame stretches. Let's see how I'm doing on time here. Doing perfect on time. Thumbs just pointed up on this one. I'm just my arm is outstretched on the door frame. I'm gonna get lost doing this one. It feels so good. Uh, arms outstretched on the door frame. I'm just twisting through the top of my torso. So opening up. Almost as if I'm trying to, if my left arm's on the wall, try to bring my right shoulder back to the same wall. We'll switch sides. Like always, you can do like the handcuff stretch instead. You can actually walk through a doorway with both arms and do both arms at the same time, which is pretty great. I just get to do one side at a time. I mean, you can do one side at a time with just a wall as well. You just, like I'm using the door frame here, baseboard around and trim around the wall. But you could use just a wall. All right, and that is all I have for you today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. As always, any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to uh, direct them towards me. And I will see you next time.